Hey guys, Togo here with a new video and this video is a video that we're going to talk about double DPS comps in twos. Uh, I saw a few um, people asking me in comment section below um, like what DPS comps could play in twos like double DPS comps and I, I think with this video i can maybe answer you guys a bit more precisely it is not a tier list this like is purely visual it's like just easier to like group people up but um i'm going to give you like one or two double dps comps per spec uh, per class like per spec basically and um of course you have to understand it's quite easy to find like a double dps comps if people want to play double dps comps but uh, it's not really highly competitive. It's going to be competitive somewhat if you know what you're doing. But even then, you you, you still can lose because of like a DH through it playing together, you know. Uh, but if you want to play double DPS and you want to have fun or you want to climb like this, this is the video that can actually give you a few indications on what comps you can play with every single spec. Let's start. Let's talk. Uh, let's start with Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunter, like Havoc Demon Hunter. Um, you could actually play with something that has somewhat of a punch, like for example, Devastation Evoker. Together, you can actually do some good um, one-shot capacities. You have like AoE stun with the Devastation Evoker, also the DH. You have Banish, you have enough CC to actually be able to uh, outplay the healer. And you have also a lot of like instant damage that is somewhat enough to destroy someone. You also counter druids pretty heavily with fire breath. You can just remove all hots. And if you're doing it like on the correct timing, you can actually just de delete the DPS together with the druid. Uh, it is a difficult comp to play. It, it has a lot less uh, self-healing than other comps, but you could play with this. Uh, that, that is one comp you can play with DH, but you could play also uh, a bit more of a, a safer comp, in my opinion, and that would be with a Boomy. Uh, it is not like fantastic, but Boomy DH has somewhat of a, uh, a synergy where you can just blow up someone very quickly, but also Cyclone and the off heals from Balance Roots in twos with, let's say, if you're playing with Convoke and you're playing with um, the. Uh, with the self like the healing pvp talents and uh the healing class talents that you can also play as a boomy you can actually off heal pretty quickly they're going for the dh most likely they're not going for the boomy uh, if they go for the, the boomy that's a bit more difficult for you guys but you can still do somewhat okay um but again you have to win matches very quickly you have to cc the targets off and uh, try to win like this so that is for the dh uh let's talk about now feral i'm not going to talk about tanks because it's very difficult for that Feral Druids, to be honest, you can double Feral. Double Feral is very good. Um, you have to play a bit somewhat tactically, but again, if you want to watch a Feral Druid that plays double DPS, there is Snoopy. He does Feral Druid like double Feral Druid quite often. He also plays with a Rogue sometimes. Um, you, 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 can, you can have fun with double Feral, but again, it's not like easy to do. You're very def like defensively, you're like weakened. Uh, but you have the damage to actually like blow up someone in a stun. If you're doing double stun and convoke, generally, like if you're playing with double DPS, you should play with convoke in my opinion. Um, if they are not trinketing, they're de dead. And if they do trinket, you have to run away and try to gain time for another convoke go. Uh, but a like anytime you can actually do like a double feral, it can be very fun, but you have to play very tactically. It is not like the most... Um, like safe comp to play as a feral druid you could also play with a rogue i would personally play with a subility rogue for example it gives you a lot of peels subility rogues are difficult to kill anyways um the issue is with feral druid is you're going to suffer most likely um by getting the target on you um that's one issue but you also can play with a survival hunter i think that comp is also quite fun um it's challenging as well because you, both of your defensives are not that good but you can play that and i would say the other comp that i would suggest in my eyes and that would be uh let's say with a retribution paladin if i can find it uh, that can be okay you can bop his cyclone so as uh, his convoke so you can actually like do an insane go with like a double stun rake stun into a hammer uh, like a hodge on the healer for example and you're bopping the feral druid you have to do something or spell warden if it's a uh, magic user and he can just convoke it and nobody can stop it right so you have to play around that depends on who you're facing but you, you can really like play a cheesy comp like this but 
you have to know what you're doing, obviously. Um, but often double stun is going to result in a trinket, and if you want to have a convoke length uh, of the whole match, you should have either a spell warden, like blessing of spell warden, or blessing of protection on the feral druid, depending on who you're facing. Like windwalker, for example, easy, you're bopping it off and he cannot do anything. Um, if you're playing versus a warlock, if you're doing a spell warden, he's not going to be able to uh, stop your convoke. So, again, depends on who you're facing, and uh, it can be a very fun comp. So, Feral Druid is also gone now. Let's talk about BM. Uh, BM, uh, I think the reliable comps you can play is probably with a Rogue. Uh, any subtlety Rogue, uh, BM can actually do okay. BM is actually not the, the greatest double DPS uh, spec. Um, I think just purely because you, you, you need to ramp up a bit, you don't have like an insane amount of damage like an MM Hunter, for example, from Stealth. Uh, you can do insane amount of damage, but it not, like from Stealth, it's never going to be insane. Uh, your CC is okay, but it's like, again, for Freezing Trap is like easily countered by a lot of specs. So um, you, you, you'll have to rely on the Subbity Rogue. You're pretty much getting carried by the Subbity Rogue, if I'm asking, if I'm saying it. Um, but uh, right now, BM Hunter, Subbity Rogue, probably the better comp to play with. Uh, I'm looking at other comps you could play with a dub double DPS again as a healer. Like, of course, BM Hunter with a healer is probably top tier, uh, even god tier in my opinion. But um, double DPS, I, I don't see like anything that can actually like really do it for the BM Hunter. Uh, maybe enhance, maybe, but even then, like. It's, it's not going to be that fantastic. So I, I think Rogue Hunter is probably the, the, the better comp to play. Maybe a Retribution Paladin, you could also do that. But again, you have to ramp up a bit. And I don't think you have that much time as a BM Hunter in twos. Um, but anyways, that that is that is it. Um, let's talk about uh, Survival Hunter. Survival Hunter is a bit the same. Like for all the way, Survival Hunter can actually be a good one. Um, better than BM, um, of course. Um, and you could also play with a balance Druid if you want to. So Feral Druid or Balance Druid, they're both good. Uh, you could also play with the Retribution Paladin because you're both meaty and you have some kiting power as a Survival Hunter and your damage from stealth can actually be very good if you're doing like all your, your damage from uh, the get-go. Uh, you have to pop all CDs in general with double DPS, but um, this is probably one of the comps I would play in twos. Maybe Subbity Rogue um, Survival Hunter can also do, uh, actually do also quite good. Because double like double stealth and you can actually like CC off and pretty you can do some pretty well like good stuff as a survival hunter with a subtlety rogue, but I think my preferred comp is with Feral Druid, but that's again my bias towards Feral Druid being that good in twos. Um, let's talk about MM. MM is actually fantastic. I think you can actually play double MM, uh, and you can win like very high MMR wise. Like some people cannot like react to double sniper shot into a aim shot into a rapid fire. Generally, like someone is going getting overkilled, uh, they have to pre-pop a defensive. I think the issue is sometimes you can play versus someone that has an immunity, and at that point it becomes very hard. Let's say you're playing versus a Holy Paladin even, or a, a Retribution Paladin, or a Frost Mage, or like any mage really. Uh, like someone with an immunity, he can just like dodge your uh, stuff, or like stop your stuff. Uh, that's going to be very annoying because again, you're, you're on timer, obviously. But uh, I think double MM is probably the best comp as a, a MM Hunter if you want to have quick wins. Or else, Subbity MM, that's also very classic. Like, you sap off a target, you get an easy sniper shot, and then you get, like, a shadowy duel afterwards where you're kind of cementing the fate of the DPS. Except if, like, it's an insane DPS that has, uh, let's say, immunity. Uh, without immunity, you're not going to survive that because, again... You're getting sheep shotted. He has to trinket. Uh, he can get then blind on the healer, shadowy duel the DPS, and then you can actually kill the, the target because of that very easily. Um, so that's the 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 main comps for MM. You can also play with balance rate or retribution paladin, but I think it's better to play the, to talk about the the better comps uh, right here, right? So um, I'm not going to talk about the, the the tanks. I think assassination rogue is not that good in double DPS because you have to have ramp up a bit. Uh, you, you're going to have to spend your death mark like from the get-go and the issue with that is there is a lot of specs that can stop death mark uh, or they can just like straight up like bully you into uh, all defensive pops from the get-go so um, you can do okay but I think Subtlety Rogue is just that much stronger in tunes especially in double DPS 
Um, but if I if I would play Assassination Rogue, I think I would prefer maybe MM. Although I I know MM hunters are not going to want to play with me. I think you can just like blow someone up from the the, the start. Um, you can maybe play with a Boomy. That's also a possibility. Um, Boomy Boomy Rogue still very good. You could also play with a Frost Mage or a Fire Mage or Arcane Mage. Both like all three are very very proficient. That's Rogue Mage. But the issue is again you're you're going to be targeted and you're going to have to win from the the, the opener. If you're not winning in the opener, it's very hard to get a restuff. It's really hard to actually um, have a uh, reset as a, as a assassination rogue. So for me right now, I think uh, I would lean towards rogue mage, but. I think maybe double like double rogue with somebody rogue maybe, but even then I think, I think the issue is um, I think the issue the main issue is uh, that um, you're going to be targeted into the abyss I would say so uh, you have to uh, probably play very safe. So those comps are probably for assassination rogue right now. S -s sub rogue, you can play double sub rogue. That's possible. It's actually like very lethal. You can play with frost mage. Uh, actually, very well, very good because if you get a good sheep shot, he cannot get like a. He can get a ray of frost, like a full value ray of frost, and uh, you can shadowy duel very strong. Shadow bomb very um, smoke bomb very strong. Uh, you can play with a boomy, and that comp is disgusting. You can play with an MM hunter, that comp is also disgusting. You can also play with a feral druid, that's also dis disgusting. I think Subloty Rogue is probably the best double DPS uh, spec out there. You can play with any spec and do somewhat good. So if you want to play double DPS, and you want to play like with a lot of comps, I think Subloty Rogue is one of the specs that you can actually do that. So again. Um, if you are really wanting to play double DPS, sub rogue is really the, the ideal spec out there. So that's a sub rogue. Uh, let's talk about Fury Warrior. If you want to play Fury Warrior in double DPS, it's not ideal, but I would play with an enhanced machine, for example. Uh, those two, they, they can like he can heal and enhanced machine can off heal the fury. Uh, enhanced machine can survive a bit in twos because of the tools that they have. Uh, it's not as brutal as in threes, for example. Um, that comp is also possible. You can also play with other retribution paladin and just train the healer, or try to, if it's double DPS versus double DPS. A hajj is pretty much like a death sentence for someone. Uh, that's also a possibility. You could also play like a spear of bash and frost decay uh, build, like not build but um, comp, where you spear of bash in both targets and you get like a huge go from the frost decay, and you kind of win on that. But you have to not mess it up. If you mess it up, you're you're dead from the get go. Uh, that's a possibility as well. You can also play with an Augmentation Evoker. That's not really the best comp, but it's there. And you can see Augmentation Evoker as a healer. It's still a DPS, so uh, you can play like this. And um, he, he will have to heal a lot, but I think that's okay for Augmentation Evoker. You're, you're playing around your CDs anyways. Uh, and that's it. And uh, Arms Warrior is pretty much the same, to be honest. Like, any comp that I said from with a Fury Warrior is the same for Arms. Play with Enhanced Machine, maybe with a Boomy, uh, maybe with a Retribution Paladin, you could also do that. With an Augmentation Evoker, you can do that. Um, Subbity Rogue, I will not try that. MM Hunter as well. Uh, maybe Frost DK, if you're playing with Spear of Bastion, you can maybe play around that and like do something good. Uh, there, there is something there for you. Um, again, you have a few comps that you can play and you can also enjoy. Again, Retribution Paladin, Arms Warrior, very, very fast like 2v2 matches but it's either you win or you lose um but that's it pretty much for the warrior specs uh, let's talk about augmentation evoker right now so augmentation evoker can play with any dps really you can play with sub rogue you can play with an enhancement shaman you can play with a frost dk even uh you can play with a frog through it it's not ideal though because your damage is very low you're a subpar healer but at this point uh, if you're playing with Preservation Evoker, you could do even better, I would say, because you, you have damage as well as a Preservation Evoker. Um, but that's it. I don't really have a lot to say about Augmentation Evoker. I think it's a support spec and you can actually play with anyone. Um, let's talk about Devastation Evoker. Devastation Evoker, I would say double DPS, maybe with a Shadow Priest. You can actually win in the opener if you're doing a very good um, CC go, I would say. Uh, you can also play with an elemental shaman if you want to. You can play with a boomy. I think that's a good comp as well. With a root beam, you're root beaming 
both targets, for example, if you're doing it correctly. And um, you, you get a big deep breath and maybe like a fire breath afterwards with like eternity surge and does a lot of damage. And you can actually blow someone up with, again, the bouncer is also pumping. Um, that's also a possibility. Sub Rogue Devastation Evoker should be working on paper. Uh, now it depends on how squishy the Devastation Evoker can be. Uh, Retribution Paladin Devastation Evoker can help the Devastation Evoker has, have full value on their burst. Uh, but the issue is, again, you, you have to kill in the opener. If you're not killing in the opener, that's not going to work too much, uh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's it for Devastation Evoker, in my opinion. Uh, you can play pretty much any spec with, but I think... Uh, Devastation Walker is also very hard to pair. Auto Rogue, again, not a spec that is very good into, into double DPS because you are like a ramp up spec. You're not going to one shot someone from opener. So I, 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 it's very difficult to like give an indication on what spec can work. I say Balance Root maybe because it can give you a bit of time. Shadow Priest maybe because it can give you a bit of time as well. You can play with a Feral Druid maybe, but even then it's not going to be that ideal. Uh, maybe with an MM Hunter, but why not play Sublity Rogue at that point? Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Outlaw Rogue. It's very difficult for them to have a, a space in double DPS comps. Um, let's talk about Frosty K. Frosty K, I would say anything that can actually like group up people, like for example Arms Warrior, I think Balance Druid, Frosty K can also work. I think uh, Enhanced Mishan and Frosty Kick can work with Static Field Totem grouping both targets together and you can actually have a big go like this. can also work. Um, I would say whatever Restore Shaman is probably easier, but uh, that's that's my point. Um, you can play maybe with a Fury Warrior as well, it's the same as a, as an Arms Warrior. Maybe Frost Decay, Frost Mage can be fun as well because it's very hard for the, for the enemy team to ignore the Frost Mage. Um, you can win with that as well. Uh, you can also play maybe with a Warlock, like a Demonology Warlock, for example. You have enough CC, you have somewhat of a good go, and you have enough peel for each other to actually survive a bit longer, I would say. But again, every time you're going to face a Subrouty Rogue or a DH, like a DH Druid, for example, it's going to be very, very difficult to survive the initial go. Unholy DK, it's a ramp up spec. It's not going to be that good in double DPS, but you can always try. I would say with an Arm Warrior, maybe, with, maybe with a Fury Warrior, maybe with a Retribution Paladin um, that can give you a bit of time. Maybe Demology Walk and Holy DK can be very fun as well. Uh, Shadow Priest with an Holy DK, the CC will be going, and you can just win in the opener if they don't have like immunities or something to cheat death, I would say. Um, but those are the comps that I would recommend as an unholy DK. Um, Fire Mage, anything with Rogue, pretty much. You want to play with a Rogue, ideally with Subletty Rogue, I think that's the better comp for Fire Mage. And you could maybe play with Shadow Priest for DCC, but, uh, or even Warlock even, but I would then say that Rogue is probably the better partner for Fire Mage. Um, again, hot take, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, same for Frost Mage, to be honest. Frost Mage and Rogue, probably the best comps you can play. You can play Shadow Priest, uh, Frost Mage, maybe, because then you have some Dispel Protection as well. I would say maybe there's a world to play with an Affliction Warlock, so they are very scared to uh, dispel a Frost Bomb. Uh, but I think the best comp is with a Rogue. Um, no doubt with that, with like Subtlety Rogue. You can actually win games off of DPS healers and it will depend on you being like all performing the enemy team, for example. Uh, same for Arcane, you, you, you want to play with a rogue. Uh, there is no other option, in my opinion. I don't see them uh, here. Uh, you you really want to play Arcane, Sublity Rogue. I think it's a better comp there. Uh, they, people are going to have to spend all their CDs to survive and you have enough of CDs to actually reset and to do good in over 30 seconds where you have another DR go, for example. Um, but that, that's, again, maybe a hot take, but I would say Arcane kind of wants to play only with a Rogue if you want to, like, perform very well. Um, da -da -da, let's see who's next. Uh, Retribution Paladin. So Retribution Paladin, again, I discussed a few comps as well for Retribution Paladin, but we can play with a Fury Warrior, you can play with a Subbity Rogue, you can play with a Feral Druid as well. You have some comps like MM Hunters as well. Uh, maybe a Paladin 
the comp that I really found very fun is Retribution Plan with an Enhancement Shaman. But you see sometimes uh, having an MS effect is actually very big. Uh, and that comp doesn't have an MS effect. It's like purely CC or purely like, like the off heals and trying to survive the damage. It can be fun. I don't think it's very meta at the moment because of how they are um, self-healing currently, especially Retribution Paladin. They're not doing very well in self-heals. Um, but personally, if I have to like choose a comp for Retribution Paladin, I think I would be playing with a sub -rogue. I think it's too e so super easy to do something uh, together. You can survive a bit of time and like enough to actually like having reset even. So uh, you, you have to play around your, your strength and try to reset. If you don't like reset as a retribution party with a rogue, it's going to be very difficult to survive like the next 30 seconds, right? Um, so that's for retribution paladin. Uh, let's talk about um, Arcane already discussed about it. Heals, I'm not going to discuss about it. Windwalker, so Windwalker. Windwalker is interesting because it's like a Fury Warrior or Arms Warrior, if you can see it like that. So it will work with a Frost Decay, it will work with um, a Sub Rogue maybe sometimes, you can do that with a Go. Uh, I think Retribution Pod in Windwalker is also a good comp. You can play with an MM Hunter, it's not optimal because again, someone is going to die very quickly. Uh, you can play with an Enhancement Shaman, that's also, that can work as well. Uh, you can play with a uh, Shadow Priest, so you have the CC and you have the Burst, so you need to align your CC and the Burst together. Uh, that's also a possibility. And you can also play, let's say, with an Augmentation Evoker again to try to emulate a DPS healer comp, pretty much. Um, the next one would be Elemental Shaman. I think Elemental Shaman is a very good spec. In twos, you can actually survive a bit of damage in double DPS. Um, and I would say with a Shadow Priest is pretty good, with a Balance Red is also pretty good. You could also play with a Sub Rogue and then your damage is going to be like very very naughty. Um, you have also some comps where you can play let's say Double Elemental Shaman, although that's not really going to be that popular, but it's still there. You have also the Elemental Shaman with a Devastation Invoker, that's also a possibility. Uh, but overall, I still think with a sub rogue, it gives you a bit of breathing room to actually do your damage. And you can also off heal quite a lot if you are like able to do so. Um, Balance Rate, let's talk about Balance Rate a bit. I think Balance Rate sub rogue is probably the best comp you can play as a Balance Rate in my eyes. Um, you could probably play Balance Rate with an MM Hunter again, like just a go with a root beam is something that is easily applicable from stealth is something you can actually uh, play around and do good with so that is the comp i would play uh, imo sub rogue balance rogue, very good again you'll see a lot of sub rogues but i think it's because how they are can survive like for a long time without a healer and that can open up a lot of possibilities in double dps comps um what's next affliction warlock affliction warlock is actually very fun in double dps comp but again it's very frustrating depending on who you're facing uh but with a shadow priest very fun a uh, frost mage very fun as well uh, you can actually survive a lot of damage you can also play double affliction warlock but i would not recommend it uh, affliction warlock with a devastation invoker also quite fun as well gives you a bit of time you can play with an unholy decay even but that's again a comp where you cannot really help the unholy decay if he's the target um sub rogue with affliction model can work but the issue is you can also just remove all hot all dots because of that but you can uh, can survive all of damage because of that comp uh it's not ideal but there is there, there is a possibility there and also elemental shaman with an affliction model that's also a possibility with the the spell protection that can actually be very strong versus healers um yeah and uh with a destruction warlock what you could play is the same comps really you can play with a speed you can play with a frost mage you can play with a boomy you can play with a sub rogue that's also very strong you could play maybe for enhancement shaman with static field totem getting them away from you but you can also do the same for elemental shaman together um again double dps comps you have to play tactically you, you can you can suck zerg but the issue is you're going to lose probably more games than win but if you play with a certain plan in mind where you can actually like enable each other to do to deal damage and then to try to run away whenever you don't have the damage or the possibility to do damage 
I think you can do some pretty good things as a double DPS comp. Uh, personally, I sometimes play double DPS comp. That's why sometimes I, I lose CR because of it. I, I find it fun, but I don't think it's very competitive right now, unfortunately, with how Druid is so prominent and so strong. Um, like the Demolition Warlock, same comps. I would say with a Frost Mage, it can be working. Uh, you can work with a Bowser as well, maybe a Shadow Priest as well. I would like try to play with a an OI DK maybe if you can actually like make it work, uh, that's also a possibility. And the same for destruction. Uh, I already said destruction warlock. Excuse me, uh, shadow priest. Let's talk about shadow priest really quickly. The same comps, but I would say like shadow priest with affliction warlock is one of the most fun comps to play. Uh, you have an holy dk as well, maybe elemental shaman as well. You have some comps here and there, but I would probably play with either a sub rogue. Or an official warlock together, and you can actually do some good stuff. So it's actually fun. Uh, Enhancement Shaman, the last spec, the last DPS spec. And I'm a fan of double DPS comp uh, Enhancement Shaman. I think the issue is survive, surviving the damage. Uh, but overall, you can actually play with, a, like, again, you have multiple builds. You can play the Ascendance build where you pop your Ascendance, you try to your go, and you kind of win on your go. Uh, you can also off heal quite a lot. You can also heal yourself quite a lot. You just get oom pretty quickly. You also get um, again a lot of dampening in too, so it's not effective too much like all the time. But you have burrow as well. You have crowning totems. You can stop a few things here and there. Um, but enhancement shaman, I would say with a boomy could work. I think enhancement shaman with its retribution plan can be also very fun. Uh, with an arms warrior, the, dam the damage is going to be fast, but the games are also going to be very fast. Sub rogue again, I think it's al also a good option for enhancement shaman to pair pair up. You have also shadow priest. Uh, you can also play um, again augmentation evoker with enhancement shaman. You survive a bit, uh, quite a bit. Uh, but the issue is you don't have a MS effect, so again you have to play for dampening a bit as a double DPS comp, which is not always ideal. Um, but those are the double DPS comps I would suggest you guys to play um, if you want to have fun in two twos and you want to have fast queues while you're waiting for soul shuffle. You could also play twos, and uh, whenever po something pops, you can just play that soul shuffle. You both DPSs can go for soul shuffle queues and play together, and until you get a queue like a, a pop from soul shuffle you can just stick together and try to play and try to reach a certain rating again it's not going to be very meta there is a few comps where the instant wind versus double dps comps like for example dh druid or subtlety rogue with a druid it's also very annoying to kill any anyone from that comp um so again it's not like ideal but i wanted to make the video because a lot of people actually asked for it and I wanted to provide you guys with some uh, 2v2 comps you can play in double DPS um, settings. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to stay safe. We will catch you up probably very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.